And so we come to the next chapter in which... But I haven't finished yet. But Pooh, you're in the next chapter. Oh, what happens to me? Well, let's turn the page and find out. Darling, unlike so many of the other Hollywood-based movie stars, you don't seem to receive much publicity throughout the years. Why, why do you think that is? I guess I... <laughs> I guess sure. You know, you are. You certainly are. Hey, that's it. Now, you've always been shy. You've never played anything, most of your parts, but a shy person. That's oh, true. That's true. Now, are you shy? Yes. Are, are you playing yourself? Yes, I think so. And you always have? Yes. That's right. There's, yes. there's nothing much I can do about the voice. No. It's said before. And there's not too much I can do about the body, except just put it to bed. I get the impression that you do not have a large ego. Am I right there? Well... I mean, you don't, know, you don't, don't exude confidence. You're, you're not, you're not overconfident, let's put it that That's way. right. You're not. You're willing to see faults of your own. I think I'm a great worrier. You know, I'm talking, it's like talking into a mirror. So am I. I worry a lot, but I think it's fun to worry, don't you? Well, it, I, I don't know any other way. So, it's, it's fun for me. I'm worried about that, too. What do you do for relaxation, Shirley? Worry. <laughs> no, well, I, I limped into that one. No, I, I read a lot, and uh, lately I've been collecting uh, contemporary art, and I built a house for my art. This is a house in uh, Laguna? In Laguna, uh, yeah. On the beach, I did. Uh, no, I it's high that. up on top of a mountain. Oh. And I have even ceramic doors. I have a sculpture to do the doors. They weigh over a thousand pounds each. Sounds like a fabulous place. So it's kind of hard to get into, mm -hmm. and maybe hard to get out of, and maybe that's one reason I don't leave too often. But you do have the phone. If it rings and somebody has if a part for you, you're ready to go. That's right. Hello. Uh, I'm Sterling Holloway, and I hope you don't mind too much if I kind of tag along while you go to the Billy Al Bengston exhibit. And uh, straight ahead of us will be the exhibition, and you won't mind too much my trailing along, I hope. And if you get tired of hearing me talk, why, you know, don't listen, <laughs> because uh, actually the pictures talk for themselves. Oh, before we go into the exhibit proper, look over here to the left. You see? Billy Al is quite a motorcycle fan. Anyway, there was a BSA. It was from, from this uh, series that he did of motorcycles. Overhead, oh, it's one of the early Valentine pictures. A heart on a red background. It's beautiful. Now, if you'll walk with me down this corridor, and by the way, look at the walls. They're corrugated aluminum. It's such a great, wild installation. Uh, at the very end of the corridor, it's a big painting called Busby. And in the center of the well-known sergeant stripes. And I heard Billy Al once say that it's kind of a pinball machine effect. And the colors really are completely beautiful. It's a big picture. It's an exciting picture. Now, uh, if you're ready, go any time, you know, don't let me rush you. If you want to stop and, and look at these pictures, please do. Oh, that hammering, by the way, probably during this tape, there goes another piece of noise. Uh, we, we're doing this during the installation of the show, so hence the different noises and all that you hear. Oh, the, the, the painting we're looking at now, the big dento, and they're called dentos, by the way. Uh, I think Kenny Price named them dentos because it's indented surfaces used to, to catch the reflection and the reflection of light. Look, by the way, this might <laughs> seem a little silly to you, but do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this whole thing all over again, all by myself. And so why don't I kind of leave the finish with you? It's been nice being with you, and uh, thank you. 
Oh, Barbara, isn't it just like a pot of honey to run out of itself, right in the middle of being eaten? Hmm, I wonder. <coughs> Winnie the Pooh! I was just wondering if you had a little smackerel of something a bear might like. Introducing Nabisco's Golden Honeys, little smackerels of honey sweet cereal enriched with three B vitamins and iron. New Golden Honeys, a tasty smackerel from Nabisco. Soup, cream of tomato. Not plain old tomato. Cream of tomato. There's milk power. And look, noodles. Noodle pictures. Hey, Mickey, that's you. Purina Puppy Chow helps little puppies grow into big puppies. But then its job is only half done because even after he looks full grown on the outside, inside his muscles are still forming and his bones are still growing for about a full year. That's why he needs a full year of the extra nutrition in Puppy Chow. What would you do if your son stole home and most of the dirt around it? I'd shout it out. What would you do for a really tough stain like motor oil? I'd shout it out. Introducing Shout, the new heavy-duty stain remover. I'm Woodsy Owl and I'm here to tell you about a dirty word, pollution. Help Woodsy spread the word. Never be a dirty bird. Hoo hoo! Don't paint a right off buildings. That's pollution. Give a hoot. Don't pollute. Never be a dirty bird. Hoo hoo! Turn your radio down. That's noise pollution. In the city or in the woods, top keep America looking good. Chlorophyll is so small and so secretive. <laughs> that not even the most powerful microscopes can spy on him. Here's the way we think he works. The veins of the leaf bring him water from the roots. From the air, he grabs a molecule of carbon dioxide, CO2. He puts a water molecule and a carbon dioxide molecule together. And then he reaches for a piece of sunlight, and this is what we don't quite know, how he adds this sunlight. And I'm not going to tell you either. You can darn well find out for yourself. Here's some photos that I posed for. This first one was taken in 1934. Mm, well, that's not my best side. If you're not convinced by now that I'm for real, well, I guess you never will be. Oh, mercy. Well, thank goodness he's asleep. Did he hear anything? Well, I don't know. I can't blame him, really, whether he eats or not. Oh, I thought you knew all about seals. Well, now, even the expertest of experts doesn't know all the answers. What are we going to do now, Grandpa? Yeah, that's a good question. What do we do? I suppose there's something I ought to tell you, honey. Well, uh, you see, when I say I know all the risk to know about seals, what I mean... And while I'm at it, I might as well tell you about SeaWorld, too. You see, the job that you think I've got at SeaWorld, well, I mean, that's... Yeah, Grandpa? I think we better take that seal over to SeaWorld and put him in the infirmary. They can do things for him that we can't do. But, Grandpa, you're acting just like Mama. You don't want me to have him. No, well, that's not true, honey. But you see, seals are not like cows and chickens. They need a lot of water. And they need a lot of fish. But you could fix him up, him up a place here. You just don't want to try. Now, come on, honey. Let's not have any tears. We have enough trouble with a little seal inside. Hey, hey, how about this? Nice candy bar, huh? A little bit melted, but it'll get you over the blues. <laughs> hey, try it. You know what? I think we got some books on sea mammals around somewhere. We should find them and look something up. Maybe there'll be something new in those books. Oh, Grandpa, I knew you'd think of something.
into the future like it's gonna make you happy Save you from reality, yeah, yeah Imagining the worst like it's gonna end so badly Never seem to make you happy Took you from reality, yeah, yeah Imagining the worst Like it's gonna end so badly Never think we'll get out of this black hole But you're not living in this world alone